Donald's rolling back Obama's transformation, and some big changes have already begun. If you give a liberal a fish, he'll eat for one day. But, if you teach him how to catch fish, he'll die of starvation because he's too lazy to work for his food. It takes a while to get over a bad infection like Obama. But people are getting healthy again. The economy is healing and the drug of prosperity returning is kicking in. Obama's socialist plot to redistribute wealth from the earners to the welfare abusers is failing thanks to President Trump. And the best part is it only took one and a half years to prove how incompetent the former president really was. The truth is that the Democrats need people to stay on welfare in order to secure their votes. This is why they criticize anyone who attacks the food stamp program. But Republicans understand that temporary help is sometimes needed. Anyone can fall on hard times. However, staying there is a choice. With unemployment at an all-time low, fewer Americans are relying on government assistance and have begun to thrive on their own efforts. From Breitbart, food stamp participation dropped below 40 million for the first time in eight years, according to the latest numbers on food stamp enrollment from the U.S. Department of Agriculture. USDA. The most recent USDA data reveals that 39,604,428 people were enrolled in the Supplemental Nutrition Assistance Program, SNAP the program that administers food stamps, as of April 2018. The last time enrollment dipped below 40 million was in February 2010 when 39,588,993 people received SNAP benefits. While SNAP enrollments have been going down since 2013, the past few months have seen the sharpest decline. Overall 4.2 million Americans suspended their SNAP benefits from October of 2017 to 0 April of 2018. These statistics are proof that in a functioning economy, Americans don't need food stamps. A way to lower the number even further would be to remove non-citizens off of all welfare programs. Currently, an estimated 14 million illegal immigrants receive food stamps, costing taxpayers $135 billion annually. If these illegal immigrants were removed from receiving government handouts, the number of SNAP recipients would drop to 24 million. One way the president has been cracking down on food stamp abuse has been giving recipients actual food instead of EBT cards, rolling out the Harvest Box program in February of this year. The USDA then announced in March that they would be employing an integrity officer to give the Trump administration a hand in ending food stamp abuse. Trump understands that honest Americans don't want SNAP, they want jobs. And despite the left's best efforts, Trump is determined to empower Americans rather than have them dependent on the state.